So we're here with director and founder of the El Socorro Center for Wildlife Conservation, Ricardo Mead. He is going to tell us about some of our native creatures of Trinidad and Tobago and why they're so special and important to us. Yes, we're very, very lucky, very blessed to have a wide diversity of wildlife here in Trinidad and Tobago. We need to consider them as part of our natural heritage. Come with us on a journey as we discover a large snake, fast falcon, an elusive ocelot, and many other unique creatures, including an owl, who you didn't know was a trini. This is our resident barn owl. She's one of our favorite ambassadors. Her name is Chang, a scientific name, Taito Alba. And it is the most common owl found throughout the world. The only place it's believed not to be found is the Antarctic. So everywhere, cold regions, warm regions, you have barn owls of different color shades and so on. But they're pretty much the same bird, Taito Alba. They have dark, piercing eyes, which helps them to see when they need to see the most, which is at night. They're mainly nocturnal. However, when they have babies to feed, they will hunt round the clock. Because as you know, babies never stop screaming for food. So that makes this animal a great animal to have in our ecosystem. A family of these birds, mother, father and about four babies, will consume about 25,000 rats and mice a year. That's because they have to feed so much and hunt so much to feed the babies. So imagine 25,000 rats being removed from the Rimaraval community, you know, or um, Chagaramas, wherever region they are, they're very important. The only problem that people usually have with them is that they usually nest in old roofs, hence the name barns. So they like houses and structure because a lot of times that's where rats and mice are around us humans. So we try to destroy them without realizing that this little creature here does so much for us by removing these rodents and controlling pests naturally. If you encounter one of these birds in your home, what you should do is give us a call. Um, we will find a way to humanely remove them as well as give you advice as how to prevent more owls from coming up and taking up residence. Because not only will the owls take up residence, because a lot of times if you're not very careful, you will have other animals take up residence in your roof. Bats, manicou, rats, and even worse, pigeons. So we will give you humane advice on something called humane exclusion so you can keep these animals out of your roofs and out in the wild where they belong and find around the community where they can do their best work to help reduce the rodent population in Trinidad and Tobago. One amazing feature about owls, owls are the only birds that fly completely silent and they are able to achieve this because of their special feather structure and their massive wings. And as I say wings, she just loves to show her wings. Can you show us your wings again? big wings. They fly completely silent. Hence, the mice, the rats, whatever prey they're after will never hear them as they swoop down from the sky and grab them off the ground. Completely silent sky hunters. Mm -hmm. 